Have you ever been told a story by someone and you were drawn in and captivated by it, believing every bit of it, until they get to the punchline and you learn that it was all made up? Parts of it seem completely believable, yet none of it was true. You might even find yourself wondering how you could have been so easily duped. Hi, I'm Sherry Kreps, your spiritual fitness coach today. I'd like for us to spend a few minutes talking about how important it is to have a vigilant mind and not be lazy in our thinking. You see, just as we can easily fall prey to someone telling us a made up story, we can also be deceived into believing lies about God and what His Word says if we are lazy in our thinking. What does lazy thinking mean? I like to define lazy thinking as either being apathetic, lacking interest or enthusiasm, or having an I don't care attitude. Another kind of lazy thinking happens when a person just wants someone else to do his or her thinking for them. This concept of laziness in our thinking is prevalent in our culture and is especially concerning when it comes to biblical truth. We have access to the Word of God, the Bible, so we can learn and discern God's will. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17 says, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. The Bible contains all scripture, the words of God himself, He has given His words for teaching, instructing us regarding our sin and God's plan for our redemption, for reproof or a rebuke, for correction to point out our wrong behavior and help us change, and for training in righteousness, which shows us how to live our daily lives and grow in becoming more like Jesus. In Acts, a group of Jews from Berea were described as people of noble character because They received the word with eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. I love this picture of people examining the scriptures to see if these things were so. Let's think about what it means to examine something. A doctor examines you when you are sick to determine the cause. He or she may go to great lengths using a physical exam, lab work, x-rays, etc. to get to the truth. A lawyer examines or cross-examines a witness to get to the intricate details leading to the truth. An investigator examines evidence when trying to get to the truth about a crime. In essence, an examination is a deep dive into something, looking at it so carefully and with great detail with the goal of drawing a conclusion. Why is it important to examine the scriptures? Romans 1 talks about God's wrath on the unrighteous because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served the creature rather than the creator. You see, unless we know the truth of God's word, we are at risk of believing untruths. We are at risk of exchanging the truth about God for a lie. Jesus himself even offered a warning in Matthew when he said, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. It's important for us in our faith that we know the truth of God's word ourselves and not just believe something because someone else tells us or we hear it. Lazy thinking may keep us from being able to identify a ravenous wolf dressed as a sheep. If you want to win over lazy thinking, it starts by taking a step. I want to challenge you with the following. First, get a Bible in a translation that you can understand. Secondly, commit to reading the Bible for a period of time daily. Examine the scriptures, dig into the details and see how God is speaking to you through what you are reading. Don't know where to start? I would suggest one of the gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John would be a great place. As you examine the scriptures, You will find that the more you learn, the more you will want to learn. Now, go win today.